Welcome to the Champion Helmets review and road test of the HJC R490S, the only road test where we send our rider with the helmet out on the road with professional measuring equipment to come back with plenty of interesting data. So stay tuned for the facts as we take the HJC helmet out. Sebastian from Champion Helmets here, and just as the R490 was a replacement for the HJC Max Evo, the 90S and 90S Carbon have come to replace the R490. We're not seeing too many changes, but we'll still be running through them in our review, and HJC is still bringing you all the quality you can find in a premium helmet at an excellent price. Again, this is a modular helmet, so this means the chin bar on this helmet flips up. For example, if you want to stop, or you want to walk around, or get some more air, though this isn't recommended since it's unsafe to ride with the chin bar up. Nonetheless, this helmet is PJ certified, so it can be used in both positions on the road. So with a recommended retail price of about 600 euros or approximately 650 US dollars, it will be coming in at about 100 euros more than the previous R490, but it will also be competing with the AGV Sport Modular, Shoini Attack 2, Nolan N100 5 Plus, Schubert C4 Pro, and the Shark Evo ES. So we'll run through some specs on the helmet and then go into our road test of the R490S where we'll head out, measure its performance for noise, ventilation, and so on, and of course, bring you the facts. Just a quick note before we go further, make sure to subscribe and to check out the rest of our channel to stay up to date on our latest data-driven helmet road tests. You can also check the notification bell to make sure you always stay informed. As far as the shell is concerned, this helmet does very well. The R490S Carbon is made of Premium Integrated Matrix, or PIM Plus Carbon, which is a carbon and fiberglass composite with a very high carbon content compared to the R490S's PIM Plus shell. This shell is carbon and fiberglass composite. These are the same materials that are also used across HJC's ARFA and ARFA Carbon line, so they are, of course, premium. The helmet is very light and weighs about 1,520 grams in a size M, or 3 pounds 6 ounces, which is about 30 grams lighter than its non-carbon predecessor. What's really great is that this helmet also comes in three outer shell sizes, which makes sure to improve on the helmet's safety and sizing, since you're definitely going to get a more proportional fit. For the ventilation, we've got pretty much the same layout as on the Arfa 90. So you have the large adjustable vent in the chin that will flow air into the helmet or onto the visor. You have another large vent in the brow that you can adjust and you have an adjustable exhaust at the back of the helmet to let the hot air out. And considering the previous R from 90 showed a strong ventilation performance on our past tests, we'd expect this to be no different with this helmet, but we'll still check it out on the road just to be sure. The visor on the 90S Carbon is also coming fully featured since it is anti-fog pin lock prepared with an anti-fog pin lock lens provided in the box. The face shield and the drop down sun visor are also anti-scratch and anti-UV, the visor will give you a good field of vision, which is important for modular touring helmets. It will also lock with the latch in front, so all you need to do is push back and up and it will open, which is also another great safety feature since it will prevent the visor from opening unexpectedly. You also get a nice set of detents, and you can even achieve a cracked city position. For sunny days, you've also got an integrated sun visor in the 90S, operated by a slide on the bottom of the helmet. This has been improved to provide wider and better coverage when it's in the lowered position. HJC have also made it very easy to remove the visor thanks to the rapid fire lever system. All you need to do is lift the visor into the open position, pull on both levers on either side, and the visor will lift out. To put it back in again, it's the same process but in reverse, and you simply snap the visor back in again. The lining of the 90S is HJC's multi-cool liner with a polygene treatment. So it is removable, moisture wicking, antibacterial, washable, and it even has a glasses groove. While the previous R490 didn't do great on noise isolation when we road tested it with 102 decibels, hopefully the R490S will do better. Now to remove the liner, it's easiest to open up the helmet by pushing forward on the red center button and lifting the chin bar up. You then remove the cheek pads by attaching the snaps and pulling them out, and you do that on both sides so you can pull the interior liner out. While removing the liner, you can see the helmet's micrometric strap, and you can also see HJC have redone the interior of the helmet as well to further improve its noise isolation performance. You then remove the liner with two snaps in the back and four head inserts that will make sure you don't get any pressure points in the front. The helmet also comes with speaker pads for noise isolation, which is a new addition, and there is a chin curtain to reduce wind noise. 
With the interior removed, you can see the helmet's EBS grooves. While looking on the inside, you can see how the R490S has been prepared for the HJC Smart 10B or 20B Bluetooth communication system with speaker pockets on either side, and the back has a space reserved for the battery. You can check out our other video review on the system where we run through the specs and show you how to install it. But it is important to note that both the 90S and the 90S Carbon come with this preparation. Now, let's see how the helmet does out on the road. Before we get riding, just a quick reminder for how we set up our helmet road test. On the left, there's a white monitor showing the helmet's internal temperature in degrees Celsius based on a thermometer placed between the EPS and the interior liner. In the middle, we have our decibel meter showing the helmet's noise level from a microphone placed near our rider's ear. Lastly, on the right is a telephone showing the day's average airspeed on the helmet from a bike-mounted anemometer. On the dash, you can also see our rider's speed and the exterior temperature. Our test was performed at 130 km per hour or 80 miles per hour on long stretches of highway. When we carried out our test, it was a beautiful sunny day with the day's average airspeed at about 130 km per hour. The day's exterior temperature was about 27 degrees Celsius or 80 Fahrenheit, while the helmet's strong ventilation managed to keep the interior at the same 27 degrees over the course of our test. For noise, the Afro 90S Carbon was also impressive since it showed a result of 97 decibels, which makes it 2 decibels quieter than the Schubert C4 Pro and 4 decibels quieter than the Shoei Neotech 2. While out on the road, our test rider found the helmet was very quiet, as was shown in our data, and they also found the helmet's three shell sizes came in very handy as the helmet felt nice and compact, with strong aerodynamics reminiscent of the AGV Sport modular. Finally, our rider mentioned that the helmet's comfort was decent, though the liners of the Shoei and Schubert competition were still more comfortable. A final feature to note is that in addition to being PJ certified, the helmet is ECE2205 certified, and though it hasn't been tested by Sharp yet, HJC's modular helmets usually score fairly well between 3 to 4 stars. Now, let's see how many stars the helmet earns. For material, since the helmet is made of carbon fiber and is made in 3 outer shell sizes, the helmet earns 5 stars. For weight, with an excellent modular helmet result of 1520 grams, the Arfa 90 s Carbon earns 4 stars. With the pinlock prepared visor and an insert lens provided in the box, the HJC helmet earns another 4 stars. However, with an excellent noise result of 97 decibels, the Arfa 90 s Carbon comes in at an incredible 5 stars for noise. The ventilation in the helmet is also strong since over time it managed to keep the same temperature inside and out, which earns it another 4 stars. Finally, for comfort with its premium multi-cool liner, the Arfa 90 s Carbon earns 4 stars. Altogether, this brings the HJC Arfa 90 s Carbon's score to a total of 4 stars at 23 euros per star, which also makes it very budget friendly, which is something we've consistently seen from HJC, and it also puts the Arfa on par with the Shoei Neotech 2 in terms of value for money. If you'd like to learn more about the HJC Arfa 90 s Carbon, make sure to head over to championhelmet.com where we have our lowest price guarantee and great bundle deals including a discounted comm system or an additional visor. That's all for the review and road test of the HJC R490S s Carbon, where we've brought you our measured data straight from the road. If you want to see more data-packed reviews and road tests, make sure to subscribe to keep up to date, and if you have any comments or questions, let us know down below. I'm Sebastian here at Champion Helmets, and thanks for watching.